the Whatcom Jazz Music Arts Center was something we started in 2014 uh, to bring national and regional acts and local acts to Bellingham every week and present it in a setting that's all ages and music focused. It's not a restaurant, you know, it's not, we're not having to answer to a bartender or have espresso machines going off during a bass solo. And, but also there was a jazz education element that I really wanted to start because growing up, there wasn't a lot of options for extracurricular, you know, music programs. Um, and I really wanted something. I mean, I, my dad was a jazz musician, but I still didn't get exposed to the music in a live setting or, you know, there wasn't a lot of impact because I couldn't go to the bars to see my dad play. I'd go see him when I could, but the biggest influence is that, you know, he'd have sessions at the house. And also, you know, the high school band programs are great in the sense that they have these big bands, so they're teaching them some of the repertoire, but it's not really about improvisation as much as just reading charts, you know, and improvisation is such a hard, the, the heart of the music. Um, so I kind of wanted to just start something where we could focus on small group playing, which is more applicable to what people do today. There's not a lot of big bands because the budgets aren't there. <laughs> I had this following that would come see us every week for 20 years. Um, and it got to be kind of silly in the sense that we'd have a full house every week at these bars, and then the bartenders would still be like, man, we didn't make any money. To which I would reply, I did my job, you know, they're here. But uh, I just started to realize, you know, because our tip jar would be full. So like most of what we were making was actually in a tip jar, it wasn't even coming from the bar. And so I just realized they were there to support the music. They weren't there to necessarily drink and eat, you know, microwave food. So we, uh, I started putting on a series uh, at the firehouse once a month. And then I kind of just started to slowly, um, I play with a great musician in Vancouver named Corey Weeds who ran the jazz cellar for 13 years. And he, um, he always brings in these great acts from New York. And so we started a partner and I'd, I'd present them in Bellingham and um, eventually just kind of morphed into this thing where it was like, I'm gonna take it out of the clubs and not have to answer to, to bartenders. And I just, and honestly, the, the, the first few years of these series, I was just funding it myself, it was a gamble. But I just figured, I just hoped that people would show up and they did, so you know, I didn't totally go broke. But within the first two years, we had kids that just went from zero to, like one kid in particular started with us as, as a junior in high school with no skills as far as improvising. And two years later, he graduated and now he's studying at the University of Miami with a Grammy Award winning trumpet player. And yeah, we've had, we have five kids at Berkeley College of Music now. We have one kid at the new school in New York. Um, it's been awesome. It's been so great to watch, you know, like the, and I always tell, I always joke with the parents, I'm like, sorry if we ruin their lives. Like, yeah, he was gonna be a physicist, now he's a jazz trumpet player, uh, you know. <laughs>